jumped. That jumped. <laughs> Sorry, folks. All right, this will be a funny one to do. Kind of game an altar. Okay. How big are we going to make this one? We're going that size. This will be an interesting one to get a background colour for. We're going with magenta. Oops, this stupid user interface is really dumb. I hate the way it rolls like that. So wondering. Just do the usual shit. Going all the way with the contrast. So we're not going all the way bright. I mean, uh, how should I put it? Light. Going to give this a warmish hue. Okay. This will be an interesting one gonna do what is it it is well it's an ikea brochure got it it's for free amazing how they make these for free but i guess they're sort of banking on the possible on the likelihood that people might love what they see and therefore they're gonna buy it now i'm thinking there is some magenta in this picture so i'm thinking magenta might be the wrong kind of background color i've got to choose a color that's pretty well not in the image so I think that's a little bit bluey a little bit greeny so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge trying to find a suitable background color and there's a little bit of the yellow I'm just trying to think whether it's going to be blue if we're going to make it blue or make it something else uh red maybe red or this is a tough one. I don't normally look at these ones. These ones are usually shitty, like really wishy-washy. So I'm wondering, shit, what are we going to use? What's the best color for this? Cyan, blue, red, yellow. Yellow's in the picture. There's yellow here. and I'm just trying to think what color. Maybe red. It's not the greatest colour in this picture, but anyway, let's hope it'll... There is a little bit of magenta there in that girl's top. There's actually no real red, so maybe we'll get away with it this time. So we're just going to put it on the glass pretty much like that. And we're going to give it a bit of a shuffle. Okay, it should be a good movement. There goes that noisy scanner once again. Stabilizing image, please wait. Next toner that's going to run out, as chances are, is going to be the cyan. All right, machine's taking a little bit of time doing its usual shit or whatever. Okay, let's see if we've made this IKEA look even better. Whoa, it looks really good. You can see a light. It's a light, wishy-washy red. But what's really interesting is we got rid of most of the IKEA label and we just got mostly the picture. That looks really good. So I'm wondering, we're going to make this look even better, I think. I think we can enlarge it a bit to get rid of the IKEA label altogether. So this will go to the pile, the recycle pile. I don't... I don't want to buy any of their furniture or I don't want to buy any furniture to be quite honest so <laughs> all right I'm just wondering if we're gonna we're just gonna keep that we're not gonna get too flustered about it so now we're just gonna turn it on there 
just gonna go and show you guys how I'm doing it so doing it like that I think that's I'm trying to think what's going to be the center of this creation I think it's going to be that if we get rid of this Ikea we end up getting rid of some of that detail there so I'm actually thinking we're going to keep the Ikea thingamajig so I'm just thinking which way we're going to put it this is a tough choice so I'm going to put it this way the way I was pretty sure I was hoping to do it that way we're just going to play with this to make sure we don't lose our settings so let's see if we can make that that red background color look more vibrant so we're gonna just go to there okay that squeak is sounding terrible that low pitched squeak that's going to the middle and the hue we're going to make it hot for some reason we're going with a hot hue okay let's see how we go oh that squeak sounds terrible okay Okay, let's see if that looks more red. Actually, the red's become more like a magenta. So we've gone back to magenta. But it looks too too magenta for my liking. Even though I like the emerald green that we can see. It looks too magenta. I don't like it. Uh, I think we put the hue up too high. Too hot, should I say. It's on really hot. We don't want it that hot. So we're just going to take this, we're going to go to the hue, it's right at the extreme. I'm thinking we're going to just, if anything, we're just going to add a bit of coolness to the hue. <sighs> Maybe the contrast could go down a bit. We don't want to make it so contrasty that we lose some of the lovely colours in between. So I'm actually wondering what we're going to do with this. Um... See how this turns out. Oh, that squeak. Uh, so many things this Konica Minolta do wrong, you know. They don't do every they don't do hardly anything right as much as I'd like them to. Anyway, that's a lot better. That's more colourful. And you can see the red is a bit more red. Wondering if I wanted the red. It looks a bit wishy-washy, but it's quite nice overall the actual image so I'm thinking we're going to run with this image you can just see the girl with a pink top so or it's, yeah it's almost a magenta so now we're just going to finish this off I think this is the way this is the best close enough to as good as we can get without getting uh, going overboard so to speak so let's see this Ikea has turned out a lot better than I thought Shows that even sometimes boring colours can be give, can look really good once you've given them a bit of a tweak with the machine. It's amazing what these pieces of shit equipment can actually do in the right hand in the hands of someone creative. Forget about the people who actually make the machine. They don't have these days. They don't have much creativity left in them. Just like just like Tim Cook of Apple. I don't know the name of the person who is the CEO of Konica Minolta, but I'm not happy with him and, and the things he, he allows. So I'm not happy with him. He's just a money fucker. And I don't like money fuckers. They make me really angry. I get really angry at people who love money. So let's see how we go. Especially people doing work that I'd like to do I'd love it if I could design a brand new copier system nothing like this piece of shit we do a better job than that let's see how these go so let's see that looks really nice overall I don't know if I like all of it but it seems quite nice despite not liking all of it or should I say some of it not 
I like I don't like some of it and I like some of it so that's what I was meant to say pretty much was what I was meaning so let's just slide these pieces together okay there's our IKEA catalog reimagined